The way we could think of the last few decades worth of action on the environmental crisis is it's like being on a ship and there's a storm on the distant horizon and many people, scientists foremost among them, are warning of that storm and saying look if we as a world head towards the storm of this environmental crisis it will be a disaster. So what we need to do is introduce certain policies, ways of doing business that change our trajectory and then hey presto we'll sail around that storm and all will be well. The problem is we didn't change trajectory enough and we are now in the storm and when you're in the storm a new challenge is introduced. You don't just need to get away from the storm but your ability to steer is challenged by the impacts of the storm itself. So you've not just got to make sure you're changing the bearings so you get away from the storm, you're having to manage the a hole in the hull that's caused by a, a overtopping wave, having to deal with fear among your crew. And so we're now in entering that stage where that second challenge, the challenge of being in this figurative storm is starting to arise. So we don't just need to be thinking about the policies that help us transition away from the storm that reduce emissions and repair nature. We need to understand how those policies themselves, the transition itself, could be challenged by a far less stable world.